What's going down, man? It's your boy, Donnie Houston. We celebrating three years of chopping it up right here on the Donnie Houston Podcast. Go to DonnieHoustonRail.com right now and get you one of these brand new Choppers t-shirts available in the mono black, tight white, in the gray type edition. What's going down, man? It's your boy, Donnie Houston, tapping in. Donnie I want to tell y'all Houston. about Miss Mary's Really Though Pie, man. If you know about Really Though, you know that's a Mr. 3-2 saying. So it's only right that his mom, Miss Mary, take that name and... Uh, Start this new pie business that she got going on, man. I want to tell you about these pies, man. Listen, you can't find these pies anywhere in the store. This is a one of a kind recipe. This is gold. This goes all the way back to the family in Louisiana. The dough, listen, you've never had anything this amazing. Trust me, this is the most amazing pie you will ever have in your life. She got so many flavors to choose from. My personal favorite is the apple pie. But listen, sweet potato pies, cherry pies, you know. Peach pies, man. Any kind of pie you want, man. Miss Mary got it. And it's the truth. Really, though. So, listen, man. Call that number on the screen right now and get you a Miss Mary's Really Dope Pie. Tell her Donnie Houston sent you. Hey, man, it's going down. These pies are amazing. Really, though. Yeah, man, it's going down. It's Donnie Houston Podcast. I am Donnie Houston. Check it out, man. Uh, we got a very special guest, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's his first time. Definitely not his last time. One of the funniest cats in this city, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm honored to, you know what I'm saying, call him a homeboy of mine, man. You know, uh, we talked about him a little bit on the, on the Smack Water and Jay Can episode. And, uh, hey, man, it's the homie Jeff Shelley. What's hey, going on? Hey, what's up? Hey, this ain't my first goddamn time. That's what I show. said. It ain't your first time. It won't be last. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought yeah. you said it was my first time. No, no, no. Like, this hey, you don't remember the first interview we did? No, nah, we my did. My fuck was damn near two hours. It was, and funny, a bunch of funny shit. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, my, I can barely hear. I'm getting a little old. You know what I'm saying? Man, you ain't that old old are you not, bro? I'm old. Nigga, you ain't, you ain't, you might be 27, nigga. I might be. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna tell your motherfucker that. <laughs> What's going on, man? It's, I'm, I'm glad to be here, man. I like the upgrade. I like Since the whole, it's a little different. Yeah, man. Ma- you matter of fact, you was one of the first people, if not the first or second episode, when I started like doing the video, like being consistent with the video. Oh so, yeah, I remember that. I remember you yeah, telling me that. Yeah, yeah, lighting was off. Everything it was a complete different situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I like it. You, you pushed the old couch to the side, like yeah, yeah, yeah sit yeah. your motherfucking ass over there. Watch this new shit work for me. Yeah, but the saying. old, the, I ain't gonna lie. The old, it was classy too. The look, you know, the yeah. couch there, you know. That, that's the grind. That's the grind, couch. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you just really out here like, man, I don't give a fuck what nobody think. I'm going to do what I got to do. Yeah. You know what, what I mean? That would yeah. be the best times. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But this shit look good, though. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This be honest. I was going to say that's a live. Yeah. Uh, then got my boy Pimp and say, yeah, this the shit. You know what I'm saying? This the, you got the legends on the wall. For sure, you know for sure. For Switch sure. house. You know, I like this shit. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Well, man, what's, what's going down? What's new, man? Man, everything, man. Just, you know, a new day. You're in a completely different space now, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what you mean by that? I mean, just in your career-wise. Like, last, well, last time we talked, it was just you kind of getting getting in there. Like, you had been doing the skits and all that, but this mm-hmm. is when you was getting into the movies and just starting to get into the stand-up yeah, thing. Yeah, I like, think I had just did my own movie, but... Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, you know, I got a couple movies coming. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, tell you know, Talk to me. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I got... I got uh, a movie called Run Nixon that's coming out. That it's called what now? Run Nixon. Run Nixon? Yeah, well, it's starring Lil Fizz and now. Okay, okay. Uh, how you, how uh, you getting placed in all this? You got like some people working with you? Man, they just, man, people always ask me that shit. They always hit me up. Just off the gram? Just off doing? the gram. Just hit producers, directors, hit me up. Like, man, we want you to, this movie shot in Las Vegas. And, you know oh, what I'm saying? That's the one that was in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. and then... Uh, uh, shout out Scott Derex. He directed the one, Run Nixon. Then we got uh, the Water Boys. It's a QC film. Quavo, La La, Anthony, and that motherfucker. Uh, did that in Atlanta. The director hit me up off that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, does this trip you out? It's like, man, I just just got to tripping on my Instagram account. And now this has created these opportunities well beyond, you know what I'm saying, my own area. I mean, kind of, yes. When I think about it, but I mean, this is what I be wanting. You know what I'm saying? So I don't be... I don't put too much thought at it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that, I ask you that, but people tell, talk to me about shit like that, and it's like, bro, if you really doing what you're doing, you're not even seeing it the, yeah, way, it, so the you, way it looks on the outside. It's yeah. like, bro, I'm caught up in the grind, and really this is what I kind of expect to come with this. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I just live, I live this shit. I tell people, man, bro, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I do this shit because I love it. This is mm-hmm. my fucking passion. So what I do, you know what I'm saying? Then I got... Uh, a movie that we shot in the city called H Town. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm starting that You talking about that, but who's shooting this? Because how y'all do a movie called H-Time and y'all don't call me for the motherfucker? You know well, I mean, uh, who, who over this shit? Man, I ain't going to Which gonna one lie. of y'all over this shit, man? Lie. I ain't going to lie, Donnie. I forgot, bro. I oh, forgot you, it. Oh, you had a hand in this shit? You know? I had a hand in it. I, I didn't write it or direct it or nothing, but I was able to help produce it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was. And you didn't call your boy? I, I, but but it, to be honest, we got shout out Amir Dime and him. I fuck with Amir, yeah. Yeah, and he had a connection with the director. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't. <laughs> It, oh man, I forgot, bro. You making you know me saying? feel bad. And man, bro. I rode for you so tough. I had these, I, mean, I had these, did, and I had an outside man. on here, and I told these boys, man, my boy Shelly, man, from the Clark, hey man, holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Doing man, this stuff. And they, 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 them, they're my people, man. Mm. They, I don't, I don't know what they said on this podcast, but them niggas fuck with me in real life. No, it wasn't no hating. Or that. No, but I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, saying. this is, this is, this is the really shit because we were talking about, and this just passed. How this is when uh they were announcing the Fifty Cent Comedy Show, mm-hmm. and how it was any H time comedians on there, mm-hmm. and they were saying you know, and I was saying okay, well then who are the people that you feel like would be the most qualified? You know what I'm saying? I would say you know if you're talking about comedy in Houston, of course you know Ali is kind of that bar. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so I was like, but but who else? Like who else are the names? And it was a you, you know Jeff, uh, J K N jumped out straight out and like man Jeff Shelley. Man, I don't I don't know why they, bro. I, <laughs> I does that, does that make you feel this. some type of way about that type of shit? No, but in reality, it's like, damn. I mean, ain't no like, ain't nobody ever called me. Like, I ain't done nothing to nobody. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why ain't in these events and shit like that? But I don't be tripping. I don't like talking about that. But I, I do be asking, like, damn, why? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know why I ain't in a couple events, but. What you the rub some people the wrong way? No. Nah. Oh, you think the grind just ain't caught up? I, get, I just got caught up in the beef. I wasn't supposed to get caught up in. It's like beefs in, in the comedy world. <laughs> nah. What you, t- <laughs> what you talking? I'm about? just saying, like you know, I just, it's just yeah, shit. Got, shit happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. We cut that shit out yeah, anyway. Yeah, nah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No but, shit. Okay. Yeah, we can't talk about that. Yeah, nah. Can't talk about I get, that. I get, yeah, I yeah. Get. But it, it is a reason for that. But man, like, if I don't know, I think I guess I ain't tapped in enough. I don't know. How you feel about the comedy scene in Houston? Because I feel like we got we got people that we know that are funny guys, but it's like, I don't know, man. I feel like because we have so many guys that are funny, I don't know if it's been like... Displayed. Dis- on, not on necessarily displayed, level. but like been understood. Like, okay, look, if we finna say who the, who the, who the five comedians we finna fool, I don't know if it, it's got to the point where there's a unanimous decision of like... Out of Houston. This five, like we were talking about rappers, let's just say back in the day. And before I switch a house pop, you like, who gonna be the next pop out of, out of you know, the H? You gonna say, oh shit, this dude named Slim Thug, dude named Pow Wild, dude named, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like the underground had built up to where it was a unanimous decision and we knew who was at. And it's like the comedy world's kind of been kind of slower to come it's, around. Well, to. it's not slower. People's expectations is like for comedians now, it's like, when it's really like, it's a slow pace. Uh, Stand up comedy it, uh, specifically is a, grown man's world the the older you get and the the funnier you get the do you know what I'm saying the more recognition you get now if we talking about other accolades like if you fuck around and hop in a movie like remember Chris Tucker did Friday then he did yeah, he this and on. that he blew up our movies we still ain't seen we seen one stand up but it was 50 years later you know what I'm saying so nowadays it's either gonna not even movies if you blow up off social media like, I haven't all the way blew up on social media yet. You know what I'm saying? You don't feel like that? No. Nah. No, nah, hell no. Nah. I haven't. Hmm. A lot of people know me, but I haven't. You know what I'm saying? I, I haven't blew up all the way. And that's probably why I wasn't on the 50 Cent. Because hmm. in, in reality, bro, Ali and Billy probably the only one qualified. That should have been on that. Yeah. yeah. You can say me too. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I know them. They've been, from they, the time they, they put in, yeah, the work they've been putting yeah, in, their they, resumes. It, yeah. Like, if anybody, they, they were supposed to be on Taco on Weekend, you know what I'm saying? But it's politics, too. You hmm. know what I'm saying? Certain stuff, like, you know. But, uh, I mean, comedy scene is not a, that shit ain't an overnight success. Mm-hmm. You gotta, you gotta grind and do this shit, especially stand up. Yeah. Like, even uh, uh, social media videos, man, you gotta grind. You might blow up one time. You might your know, one video might blow up. Can the second got, blow up? Again, then the yeah. third blow up. Then the fourth blow up. Like all the motherfuckers gotta blow up until you get to that status, and you still gotta 
Now what's the next move? You gonna do movies? You gonna do this? And what you gonna do next? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's like I got a, I got a, I got a lot of accolades to obtain to really, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get an episode of Water now. I gotta get posted on the shade. We talking about social media, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and when it comes to stand up, man, I ain't even touched a lot of rooms. That that's what I'm saying. Really that, do stand up. That's what I'm saying. That was that's that's something that you had to kind of transform into from that, right? Because you didn't, from you didn't, you didn't, you didn't start out doing stand up. I right? started off on stage. No shit. Yeah. I'm nine years in on stage. I, I, start, I had before no idea. I, like before that. I touched the uh, uh, Instagram, I did stage first. It's on my Instagram. The first pro, post I ever made was on stage. Then it's videos. I just. But the videos is what hit. So, yeah, so like I probably explained in the last uh, episode when I was on here. Uh, Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.